Hello, Lent Madness Global Viewing Public. It's time for another action-packed, fun-filled, award-winning episode of Monday Madness. I'm Scott Gunn, coming to you live from the Executive Directory of Forward Movement's Global Headquarters, the Pamphlet Palace, in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I'm here with Tim Skink, who is also coming to you live from the historic, bucolic, and charming ancient rectory of St. John the Evangelist Episcopal Church in Hingham, Massachusetts. Hello, Tim. Hello, Scott. It is great to see you. Things are getting fast and furious around here. Absolutely. Uh, today we have the final battle of the Saintly 16 rages on. Yeah, uh, in, indeed. The, the last one, Isadora the Simple is fighting against Catherine of Genoa. So back to Confusion Corner, which is even more confusing now that uh, we don't have the initial matchups. And, uh, and then they're vying for the very final spot in the Elate Eight, which begins on Tuesday. Wow. Yeah, so we will soon be down to eight Saints left, and things will kick off on Tuesday as Camillus Delellis takes on Benedict. Do you remember so, um, who Camillus Delellis had to get past in order to make it into the Elate Eight? Uh, let me think. I believe it was that uh, that Saint with the uh, with the name that just rolls off the tongue. I believe it was Melangesh. Oh yes, Melangesh. Right. 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 Yeah. So, uh, so very good. So, you know, one of the things that marks the Elate Eight is that is it is also known as the Round of Saintly Kitsch. Exactly. So this is the one where everyone gets uh, totally serious and really gets into the biographical details of their saints, right? No, no, that's not it at all. No, we have done that. First round was all about the the, bi the just basic biography. Second round quirks and quotes by or about the saint. And then this round, saintly kitsch, because really what else would you do? No, exactly. So do you have any examples of saintly kitsch there? No. Oh, oh wait, yes, I, I, I just happened to. So saintly kitsch comes in a variety of forms and it is, a, of course, a way to honor the saint, and then you, you could argue. Um, so, for instance, for St. Mary, you know, you could have your holy toast. That would be one. That would be one way. Um, I mean, you got your, uh, you got your Jesus, you know, yeah. um, so that's, that's always good. But, uh, I mean, you know, yeah, and speaking of Jesus, Jesus does yeah. save. Uh, yeah. So, you know, there, it just comes in a, in a wide variety of um of kitschy kitschiness right i'm here at home so i don't have my martin luther bobblehead to show people but you get the idea yeah no you you do and and you know if you have that really good bottle of wine and you uh and you really want to dress it up you know you can always use one of these <laughs> yeah so, you know it's it's good yeah so, it's always funny people some people get a little upset at us but really if you visited any medieval cathedral what is it but a giant um exhibit hall of kitsch Yes, it's basically a saintly south of the border. <laughs> yeah. So um, do you have any advice um, or perhaps any rules, as it were, commandments perhaps even, for those who would get upset about the round of the saintly kitsch? Yeah, it's good. I mean, last week, if you watched Monday Madness, and, and of course you did, because what else is, is there to do? Um uh, we we shared again the the summary of the Lent Madness Law, which should uh, should we should we reiterate that just in case by some well given the inevitable error? proliferation of what we like to call kitsch cranks, I think it can't hurt. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first law of Lent Madness is this: Lent Madness is optional, and the second is like unto it. If you don't like the world's greatest online Lenten devotion, start your own. Yeah, that that uh, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, exactly. So the thing is, right, is all these saints have earned their place in um, in the great Lent dome of the sky, heaven. And it's all in good fun. It's a way of learning about the saints. It's a way of in, enjoying a little bit of mirthfulness, a little bit of levity at a time when there's a lot going on in the world. If that's your thing, great. Celebrate the, this round. 
if that's not your thing, that's totally fine. Um, you could sit sit out until the faithful four. That's absolutely right. Uh, yep. So the LA date will be going on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the next week, which also has another name that uh, gets at the holiness of the week. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Uh, so Monday and Tuesday, faithful four, and then. On Wednesday, on Spy Wednesday. Wait a second, Spy the, Wednesday? Are we going to explain what that is for people? Uh, probably not. No, of course we are, because we do it every year on the Lent Madness website. If only I can remember where the Lent, Ma Le <laughs> where the Lent Madness website is. Uh, yeah, I... Do I have that written down? Uh, I don't know. I, I know it begins with W's. I think I think there's four W's. Is that so could be that would be unusual w's. three would be more likely okay so three and then a dot and then lent madness mm -hmm. is that with a space or no space uh, is it an underscore i think it all just runs okay. together yeah. so it's www.lentmadness yeah. right semicolon i mean a dot uh org. right two dots That's it. yeah two dots and it all runs together kind of like every uh, episode of monday madness <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, yeah. Who writes these scripts? They're 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 genius. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, the one last note is uh, we're getting closer to spring, and um, that means it's time for spring cleaning. And a lot of people might be inspired as they're kind of doing their domestic chores if they had a Martha of Bethany mug, and you can get those in the Lentorium. Just wanted a little product placement there. That is, uh, uh, thank you for, for reminding that. And, and um, I won't even ask how many are in the warehouse, but, they're, uh, but there are, they are available. They are available. Anything else we need to cover today, Tim? Uh, I think the only other thing is Happy Lent. <laughs> happy Lent. Happy Lent.